Okay, I'm gonna come out here and uh, work on my food plots a little bit. As you can see, I got uh, my dad's old Ford 5000 tractor still working. Got my disc food plot, and then we're gonna go. Uh, let me switch it around here. We can see. Let me show you the. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got over here, they got some sunflowers, corn, and then some uh, milos there. So uh, that's what we're going to get, try to get the uh, food plot in and get this, get this tractor hooked up and my disc. tractor will crank it's got if you're wondering 8139.5 hours <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start out with got about a hundred pounds of triple fifteen, my cedar, some deer and turkey blend mix. As well as the uh, six six uh, seeded uh, variety of uh, wildlife products. So uh, we'll get that on here and uh, get it discs in and hopefully it will rain sometime soon. Okay. The rest of this done. Day. Temperature's 95, and it's the weekend of the velvet hunt, but I'm not into the velvet hunt, so I'm going to wait till it's cooler weather. I have some fall weather before I'm into hunting fever, but we're going to have a good spot here deer stand little shooting house is right there in that tree so we'll be in good shape
Yeah, the corn's looking pretty good, but I see the coons and maybe some deer, but coons, squirrels, ready to get in it. But yeah, looking good. Got a good crop here. Not bad at all, so I've got my bow hunting stand right there so uh, I think the uh, acorn crop is going to be a pretty decent acorn crop this year but since we've cut uh, a lot of the timber off here I think they'll uh, the corn and the food plots will still be a big draw to them so we'll see